North Texas has fired Seth Luttrell, and I find the timing incredibly convenient. <laughs> Ren Baker was just hired as the new AD at West Virginia. And as soon as he is gone and Seth Luttrell loses the Conference USA Championship game to UTSA, that's when they decide to let him go. Now, part of this is the fact that he went 7-5 and five in consecutive seasons, right? Or I guess 6-6 six and six last year, whatever it was. Uh, but barely squeaked into a bowl game in consecutive seasons. Austin Oni has been there for what feels like a decade at this point. Uh, the offense is pretty good. The defense... Uh, has its moments. I guess you could say the defense is what they leaned on last year. Defensive running game. This year it was the passing game. Um, they won in a lot of different ways. And I do find it incredibly convenient that as soon as the AD is gone, that might have been the only thing protecting Latrell. The boosters find a way to get Latrell out of his job and go out, and they are hunting for uh, whatever it is that they are looking for. They, they are heading into the AAC as well. Uh, you know, we brought up FAU. North Texas wants to be competitive against teams like SMU. They just do. That's going to be their rival in this new league. They are expected to compete in this league. They don't think Latrell's got it anymore. It was not that long ago that Latrell was up for, like, the Kansas State job, like, multiple jobs, and, man, it just fell off a cliff. Now, it looked like he was starting to get that thing back, but, eh, uh, impatience. Impatience. That's what happened. And you can understand it, because once you lose faith that a coach is going to be able to get that next level, or get to that next level, you've lost everything that you're selling. Everything. So, North Texas, I think the uh, the watch here is Justin Fuente, right? Uh, former TCU offensive coordinator. Uh, was at Oklahoma. Uh, then went to Memphis, built the program there. Hey, he's been in this league. He knows. No, things did not go well at Virginia Tech, but he didn't really know that part of the country. That's how you can sell this thing. Justin Fuente, he's a Texas guy. He, he's Texas and, and Oklahoma, and he will be able to find the guys, and he'll be able to build this program the same way that he built that Memphis program that is still maybe not thriving, but is still extremely competitive and is going to be one of the top teams left in this version of the AAC. I, I don't blame North Texas for doing it. I do find it incredibly funny that they waited until Ren Baker was gone. So uh, so we'll see. Is it Fuente or is it somebody else? If you if you have an inkling of what you think they're going to try and do, toss it in the comments. Or you can always reach out to me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at Gary WCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.